we need to break the silence around this affecting the girl children in this particular activism, in this particular year, and ensure that our girl children are protected and they access education and they complete education. Even if they get a challenge during that time, it is not self-inflicted because of the society, the perceptions around them, they go through such experiences. For example, getting pregnant before before they are 18 years. And so if that happens, they should be put back to school to accomplish. What we are proposing as members of parliament who are women particularly and men who are supporting this cause is that we need to put in the law and the sexual offences bill which is coming is going to ensure we protect the girl child in such a way that when a girl child gets pregnant and is about to do examinations, she should be returned to school to do those examinations, not to be denied. We also want to say that when she gets pregnant, somehow during the course of the of the high education, she should be returned to school as a matter of policy, as a matter of obligation, so that she can accomplish high education and become a useful citizen in her life. And people who, are, who, who defile these children, if they are professionals, if somebody is a doctor, if somebody is a parent who is a professional with a practicing certificate, a teacher, these certificates will be cancelled by law. We are putting it in the law so that even after cancelling their certificates, these people's names will enter databases where it can have a track record on them as a, a practitioner that this person is a defiler. You have to be careful if he has joined an institution. This one is a, a high-risk person. 